Well, today, all kinds of ceremonies are being held across San Diego. One of them happening right now in Balboa Park, where a group of veterans is commemorating this day in a bit of a different way. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is there live this morning. Marie, these veterans are saying they want all those who serve to be remembered today. Yeah, Virginia, so while Veterans Day is typically a day to honor those who are still with us, who have served or are currently serving, the group of veterans that you see behind me, they say there's much more to this holiday. When you're a veteran, you literally sign on the line to put your life in there if needed. You know, I know I certainly did, and all of us have done that. Some of them don't come home. Some of them die over in the field. And that's why they have laid out these headstones with the names of veterans who are from San Diego who were killed while serving in Afghanistan or Iraq. As a veteran himself, Barry Landendorf says it's difficult for him to only honor the veterans who were still with us. I remember when I was in uh, coming home from Vietnam, I was on a C-141 Starlifter jet and I was flying with 250 uh, flag draped caskets that were going home back to the States when I left Da Nang and all the way on that flight to Japan, uh, all I could think about was the families. So to spread their message about remembering all veterans, they hold this memorial service where each veteran's name is read similar to what you'd see on Memorial Day. Richard Burdick, Staff Sergeant, U.S. Army. Thank you. They believe Veterans Day has gotten away from its roots and say honoring all service members, living and dead, is more in line with honoring the commitment each service member makes when they choose to serve in the military. Too often, I think, we use it as a holiday, an excuse to do things, not, you know, to go to the beach, and that, those are fine. But I think what we need to do is to t take some time to set aside to remember those who have died in, in our wars, and not just those who have died, but those who have been injured. I mean, the hospitals around the country, the military hospitals, are filled with young men and women who have suffered, you know, really serious injuries in the war. And this group tells me they hope next year they can organize a larger ceremony. Live from Balboa Park, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Marie. You can find out more about Veterans Day events going on across this county at 10news.com.